Welcome to another regaling of strange fantasy. Obscure odysseys meant to shock the nervous system and stir the very core of your soul. Tonight's tale is that of a curious nature, the ambiguous wonderment that is the afterlife. What does it mean? Why does it happen? And where do we go? The desire to understand this may drive some to madness, and others to the brink. In this installment entitled, Wake the Dead. You're pathetic, you know that? You just sit there as my daddy extends his gracious hand in offering you a guaranteed 200k position at his firm and silence. Well done, prick. Don't you have anything to say for yourself? Anything at all? I've got my own things going on right now. You know that. Oh, sure, I forget. Your magnanimous plans to run your own company. Mr. Big Shot's great big law firm dream. Oh, yes. Like that's going to pan out. Get real, Keegan. You don't stand a chance in hell without my daddy's help. This is hell. I'm already here, Gina. I don't need your daddy's help to remind me of that. <laughs> really? After seven years of marriage, that's how you would describe it? Hell? Do you honestly not? feel the same? No, I do. I'm just not giving up that easy, you conniving worm. Ah, <sighs> finally. We're home. Why don't you go and slip into your nightly barbiturate and leave me the hell alone? With pleasure. Whatever it takes, baby. I'm never letting go. I've never loved you, and I hope you know that. Oh, Keegan, I know you don't mean what you're saying right now. It'll pass. Why do you keep doing this to me? Just to force me, and it's over. Keegan, don't you get it yet? You will never get rid of me. I'm here to stay whether you like it or not. I hate your guts, but we're husband and wife till death do us part. letting her do this to me. I'm better than this. She's poisoned in me. I hate your guts. Well, you know what? I hate him too. Because it actually takes guts to put up with you. And after seven years of doing so, this is all I have to show. A loveless marriage, a bruised spine, and spoiled guts. Look at her. So selfish her fancy wine into her fancy glass. I can do it. I could do it if I wanted to. What the hell are you looking at, Keegan? Don't just gawk at me like a weirdo. Oh wait, I forgot, you are a weirdo. A roadside freak, Keegan. Yeah, and boy, do I want to. I can't stand for this very much longer. You need to do something, Keegan. Hello, freak show. You still in there? Look over there on the counter. Look at that knife. Just grab it and do it already. Whatever, I'm going to bed. Do what you want, but don't follow me. Gina. What is it now, freak? Stop talking for once. Gina? Gina? Oh God, I actually did it. <laughs> I, I did it. I did it. <laughs> oh, who's gutless now, Gina? I did it. <laughs> oh God. Okay. What do I do now? Oh, what a mess. And all of your favorite rug. What a shame. All right, darling, let's get you tucked in. The 
rain is rather persistent tonight. Maybe it's best to bury her in the morning. No, I can't do that in the light of day. It has to be tonight. I'll just wait here till it starts to clear up. But besides, wet soil is easier to dig. What am I gonna tell the cops? I, I, I woke up and she was gone. Oh, officers, please help me find her. Ah, they're never gonna believe that no nothing victim hacked. Maybe they will if they can't find her. I can't bury her here. If they suspect anything of me, then they'll surely dig here first. I know where to bury her, and they'll never find her. That old quarry the city is building a mall on. Bury her deep, and they'll take care of the rest. It's perfect. All right, darling. Let's get you into the dirt. Oh God, who the hell could that be? It's almost three in the morning. Can I help you? I most certainly hope so. Oh, what do you want? My car. It stopped working a few miles down the road. Do you perhaps have a telephone I could use? Uh, no, I'm sorry, but the power is out here. Hmm. It appears the power has returned to your home. Please, sir. I am but an old stranded woman in need of your telephone. All right, fine, but please be quick. Hmm. You have a very lovely home, Mr. Keegan. Uh, John Keegan. And thank you kindly, but please, if you don't mind, the phone is in the kitchen. Through here? No, no, no. Uh, it's through the other way, ma'am. Please. Thank you, John Keegan. No trouble at all. And again, please be quick about it. I'll give you your privacy. Now the power goes out? Mr. Keegan, your wife is dead. What? I said the phone line is dead. I was not able to make my call. Oh, yes. Understood. The power has gone out. Again. Here, let me let it light a candle. There we are. Mr. Keegan, what do you know of the afterlife? Why would you bring that up now? What are you trying to spook me? I ask because I am a medium from this world to the beyond. I can sense this energy that pulls me from wherever I am and talks to me. I channel them, for they have unfinished business to tend. I think it's best if you go now. No, please, Mr. Keegan. There is a lost energy in your home. It will not rest until what is said is done. Just kill her. She knows something's up. No, I can't do that. Besides, she's a fraud. She doesn't know anything. Just let her do her thing so she'll just get the hell out of here. So, what do we have to do? We must form the circle. Please, sit the candle in the middle of the table. Now, join hands with me and do not break the circle or the connection will be lost. Let's just get this over with. As you wish, Mr. Keegan. Feldvus of darkness, come evermore. Gather thy shadows and bring me forth. All of your lost and damned. Mirrors, mirrors, awaken mirrors. We submissively dwell within you. Come forth, mirrors, come forth. I think I've had quite enough of this, thank you. Uh, yes. I'd like to stop now. I can hear you now. Tell me, my child, what burden then has you chained to this realm? Slow your energy, my child. 
tell me what happened. Please, you can let go now. Let go of me. The connection must not be broken. Davamore, Mires, Mires, Sanctopilius Davaminius, Mires, live again. Oh my god. What the hell is happening? Please let go of me. name just happened. No, there is no God for you here. Ah, it appears you have a visitor, Mr. Keegan. Keegan, Keegan face what you've done, Keegan. What? You murdered me You're... in cold blood. You're dead. No, this, no, no, this can't be. I watched you die. What is it, darling? The feeling of not following through got you down? <laughs> no, 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 no. This isn't happening. Go ahead, my child. Take what is rightfully yours. Keegan, look at me! You don't have the guts. Please, just leave me alone. Never, baby. Until death do us part. <laughs> no! <laughs> Good. Now, come join hands with me, my child. Yes, master. Dava more. Mires. Mires. Santa Filias. Dava Minas. Mires. Wonderful, right, baby? Oh, no, 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 no. God, please. This can't be happening. This... Oh, this isn't real. I assure you, my child, this is as real as it gets. Now come, my children, and let us leave this mortal plane. Forevermore, the uncertainty of a life thereafter will be sought, and the graves you walk along your path may rue you forevermore. <laughs> Thus concludes tonight's libretto of strange fantasy. Tune in next week for another look into the strange and obscure. Librettos of Strange Fantasy presented Wake the Dead, written by Travis Scarborough and Trey Gonzalez, produced by Ghost Host Records. The players of tonight's tale are as follows. Trey Gonzalez is John Keegan, Martina Olhauser as Gina Keegan, and Travis Scarborough as the old woman. Librettas of Strange Fantasy is copyright 2015, Burke Funk Media, all rights reserved. All characters appearing in this work are fictitious. Any resemblance to real persons living or dead is purely coincidental.